Do you think room 526 is too cold, too dark, or not aesthetic enough? We have conducted an informal survey among 25% of surveying students and obtained their opinion toward existing room 526. These opinions are sent to the department head and he will seek help from project manager. During the planning stage, project manager seeks advice from project team, in which architect, purchase manager, in and engineer, and VDC consultant will give advice to project manager, and first the client for how the project should be carried out. During consultation, VDC manager gives advice for using virtual design construction. VDC is a work package which applies models to ensure product, work process, and organization in different construction stages to work well. For example, BIM can be used to foresee operation work on site to avoid clashes. However, software for BIM is difficult to learn and apply. Files of BIM may not be readable between stakeholders. It is also costly to hire BIM expertise. With the pros of VDC, university should take the initiative in applying it. Then, the architect can start to design the new iRIM and BIM model can be building in line with the design. In this project, the main theme is flexibility and the iRIM can be a BIM lab, tutorial room, and a lecture room. We will now give you a comprehensive presentation of the iRoom. Since there will be two configurations of the iRoom, the lighting system will go for a major change for the new zoning arrangement. Eco-friendly, provide sufficient lumen output, avoid frequent relamping, and easy to install are the reasons we choose Philips lighting. This product consumes 25% less energy. Its lifetime is 3.2 years. It can be easily installed by resting on the suspended ceiling and then secured by safety chain. Product consumes 65% less energy. The dimming function allows warm white light to produce as lighting when film is playing. Its lifetime is 5.7 years. It can be installed by fixation using spring fastener. Automation system has sensor and control system to control the environment. It provides zoning control of building services and gives technical support to lecturers. It also controls the appointment of using iRoom. Is the organization which is responsible for installation and after sales support service. We have chosen Crestron Room View Vision to balance the functions and complexity of usage. There is a help button on the panel. Lecturers can seek help from Crestron. The technical staff can provide instant support by remote and controlling. Today, all commercial systems, including AV, HVAC, lighting, room scheduling, and energy management, are all on the network. But each of these systems works independently. Each comes with its own software application. If only there was a way to see all your devices and systems together on a single dashboard. There is Crestron Fusion. It's the only software that brings all your building technology together. So you monitor, manage, and control everything from one application. No more blind spots or flipping back and forth between program windows. Fusion gives you a bird's eye view of your entire global enterprise. You can drill down by city, building, and right down to a specific room. You can see everything in that room, including the projector, thermostat, computers, shades, and lighting. And you can take control of devices remotely, so you don't even need to go on site. Schedule meetings, track renewable and sustainable energy sources, monitor projector lamp life, manage daylight harvesting, and solar heat gain. Only Crestron can deliver complete building management on a truly integrated network. The projector and sensor of the smart board system is nailed. 
You now need the screen for projection and operable wall panels to divide the lecture hall into tutorial rooms and beam labs. Wall can directly make use of the partition wall as touch screen for a smart board. Using smart wall, we can achieve flexible space management, provide sound tight environment, and high quality projection screen. Or as a specialist contractor, electric operable partition and the silver 5D screen material from Stewart Film Screen will be attached on the wall panels. includes these three elements. These individual panels can easily turn around corners, which can provide good protection of the screen layer and wall panels. Four finger sweep seals, new inflatable nose and vertical compressive seals, and top and bottom retractable seals are used to establish STC-54. As the diagram shown, STC-54 is classified as a very good noise control level. Silver 5D screen material has great color reproduction and high resolution on 3D and 2D projection due to the high gain 2.0 and 4K Ultra HD. Smart board is one of our design highlights in my room. You can project 3D full high definition vibrant image. This light and can be hung on rack, consumes less energy and operates quietly. Following is the brand of the product chosen. Following is the brand of the product chosen. To have better operation and use of projector, we combine a motion sensor with the projectors, which can detect motion and scene depth information and provide feedback information. With addition of motion sensors, the image projection on screen can be more interactive with the audience and lecturers. This creates a more appealing and interesting class. Powerful console computer is needed to facilitate a smooth operation for BIM models, for example, graphic calculation and other demanding tasks. Here is a comparison between the CPU of MacBook Pro and the proposed CPU used in the computer of iRoom. Compared to the graphic calculation, our CUDA device has five times faster than that of MacBook Pro. In terms of storage, our computer has been installed in 800 GB SSD and 1 TB HDD, three times faster and three times larger storage than MacBook Pro. Three sets of 29 inches LG IPS monitor can provide true color and sharp image, and can give a very wide view for BIM tasks. The conference system facilitates communication. It controls the booking system to reserve the room for any international conference. Scrum is the organization which is responsible to installation and app to sales support service. You use Microsoft Link to collaborate and communicate from your desk every day. Now, with Crestron RL, you can bring all of the benefits of Link into your conference room. Crestron RL combines video conferencing with interactive content sharing, voice, and instant messaging to deliver a collaborative, unified solution. Because Crestron RL uses Microsoft Link, you already know how to use the software. 
It works just like the Link software you use on your desktop, phone, or tablet. Book your meeting in Outlook and add your Crestron RL room to the meeting. When you arrive, your meeting will be on the calendar. Just touch the Join button and your meeting starts on time, increasing productivity and eliminating the wait time experience in traditional video conferencing systems. Sharing content is easy and can be done right from the touchscreen or by connecting a laptop. Everyone in the meeting can share and interact with the content. Just walk up to the screen and begin annotating. No need to fumble with pens, trays, or erasers. Need a whiteboard? Press the whiteboard button and share your ideas intuitively. It's all part of Link, so everything is automatically saved. Nothing could be easier than a Crestron RL system. Even the installation is simple. All of the components mount behind the display, so there's no need for extra furniture to hide the equipment. The touchscreen connects via a single Cat5e cable, which can be as long as needed. Additionally, Crestron RL ships with a video tutorial on how to get started, so it's ready to use out of the box. The Crestron RL system comes with one or two displays to fit any sized room, and is ready to go with everything you need. Mounts, cables, camera, mic, speakers, display, and the 10-inch touchscreen are all included. Add an optional tabletop microphone if desired, or a rolling cart to make the system mobile. No programming is needed. Just install and it's ready to go. The entire room can be controlled from the 10-inch touchscreen. Start your meeting, add attendees on the fly from the contact search, email the whiteboard, and because it's Crestron, you're just one touch away from controlling your AV, shades, lights, climate, and integrating with Crestron Fusion. Only Crestron can offer this type of integration on a single touchscreen. If Microsoft Link is your unified collaboration system, then Crestron RL is the meeting room solution for all of your meeting rooms, huddle rooms, and even executive offices. You'll be surprised how many places Crestron RL fits when you see the efficiency it brings to the workplace. And it's all thanks to Crestron. The system is compatible with all OS and platform. This can control all systems in one screen by complete automation solution. It has a function of instant sharing. Once there is any scene we want to share, we can take instant screenshot and send it out immediately. The iRoom also needs a new Wi-Fi. The existing Wi-Fi has slow and unstable networking, and it is an obstacle in learning. Also, there is a need of monitoring the network. The new Wi-Fi router is provided by Lynx, and the model is EA9-2000 AC3-2000. Lynx's AC3200 tri-band smart Wi-Fi router has arrived. At its core is breakthrough tri-band technology with Smart Connect. It's equipped with one 2.4 GHz band and two 5 GHz bands, so the AC3200 can achieve fastest combined speeds of up to 3.2 gigabits per second, up to twice the AC speed of dual-band routers. Smart Connect technology automatically balances your devices over two high-speed 5 GHz bands, selecting the best band for each device. The Lynx's AC3200 has six active antennas with an innovative design, three external adjustable antennas, and three internal antennas fixed for optimal position, delivering six powerful data streams for maximum coverage to all your devices. It features a dual-core 1 GHz CPU and three integrated coprocessors for a total of 2.96 GHz of pentacore processing power. The Lynx's AC3200 Smart Wi-Fi Router. Testing speaker produces unwanted sound. Speakers has to be replaced easily due to limited construction time. Yamaha DSR115 has a feature of phase differential of less than 90 at 2 kHz, and it is effective in reducing the overlapping of sound. Yamaha is effective in conserving energy. Intelligent dynamic control can automatically adjust it with different environment. Any drop tab makes installation easier and faster. For improvement, the new matrix processor must increase switching speed and longer signal feeding distance. By using audio transmission format, it can feed signal up to 30 meters using ordinary cable. Yamaha MTX3 have seen memory which can store up to 50 complete setups and increase the speed of switching setup. The new matrix processor can also protect the speaker and minimize the burden on speaker by preventing overload of speaker. Span a ceiling will conceal all the pipes for building surfaces. The structure design will be ensured to give support to loadings and accommodate the tracks for operable wall panel. Holes of spanner ceiling will be composed by frame and gypsum board panel, with anti-static agents sprayed on the surface. The aluminium alloy frame will support the expected loading of the ceiling. Space above will accommodate the necessary pipes. It's convenient in terms of installation, maintenance, and removal. Raised floor can store the electricity, wire, and network cables on the ground. It gives strong support to loading such as equipment, wall panels, and convenient students' use. 
This system is composed of frame, panels, and tiles. Specialist contractor is employed to facilitate the supplies and installation of the frame and panel. For tiles, we use contrast carpet tile with an anti-static layer. The frame is made by aluminium alloy, which is lightweight, high density, and have good loading capacity. Aluminium is also recyclable and economical. The ability of height adjustment will facilitate the installation of the system. For the panel, our model excels in dimension accuracy, interchangeability, loading capacity, proofing properties, and insulation. Our choice of tile ensures a modern, comfortable, and cozy environment. Raised floor structure allows the convenient access of electric sockets by users. Provision of lighting strips provides instruction during emergency and under dark environment. The electric sockets are protected by metal casing, durable and also with a modern design. The LED lighting can help reducing the electricity consumption and also enable safety under the dark. We'll now go through the furniture of the eye room. We'll first talk about the chairs. Our new eye room is a multi-purpose room. High flexibility is illustrated by our choice of chairs, durable and easy to be stored. Chairs with a table installed will fit the lecture purpose. Chairs and table will be supplied by a CDS system limited. Jumpsy can be folded to 4 inches. It can be easily stored. Microband antimicrobial product protection can resist pathogen. X20 table has features like wheels and folding legs to allow flexible use. To create a better sound environment, acoustic wall panels are installed. It can prevent echo problem, improve speech clarity, and have a certain degree of fire resistance. The contractor is acoustic first. The acoustic wall panels are installed on the side and back wall to prevent echo problems. High fire rating of building materials facilitate containment and prevent the spread of fire. Emergency lighting will be installed to facilitate evacuation in case of emergency. The supplier is Philips Lighting. The emergency lighting fixture should have a sufficient lumen output and a long emergency duration. Philips recessed standalone emergency luminaire is chosen. Its built-in battery can provide 3 hours of lighting in emergency, which is sufficient for evacuation. The sprinkler system is redesigned due to the installation of new suspender silk. The contractor of the sprinkler system is Well Creation Engineering Limited, and the supply of the sprinklers is Spectrolic. The sprinkler should be able to satisfy fire services installation ordinance. Sufficient sprinklers should be provided and the construction time and cost should be minimized. The fire lock quick response sprinkler is chosen. Above 60 degrees, it triggers the alarm and sprays out water to control spread of fire. 10 sprinklers are installed. The computers need a very dry environment to operate, so there is a need to remove the mold. Dehumidifier is needed. The dehumidifier is provided by Panasonic. Eco Navy Super Aluru Buster dehumidifier will be used. It has a filter to prevent mold and bacteria. It also can remove them up to 27 liters per day. Here it comes to the organization chart of the project. In the consultant part, the BDC and BIM consultant takes the responsibility of the planning of progress and building of models, while architect, QS, ENM engineer gives advices to the design and material use. For the working contractor, a general contractor for which Sanfuk Kong Group is hired for general work such as demolition and material storage management and management of subcontracting works. The subcontractor under some for Kong are the building services work. Other supplies which do not need installation will be independent from some for Kong. Finally, the electronic installation system will be conducted by an independent specialist contractor, which is Questron. We are going to introduce the process of the project. The project is separated into three stages, front, middle, and final stages. At front stage, it consists of design work and procurement. In design stage, client, the VDC consultant, architect, and other technical consultant, for example, internet provider, are involved. In the procurement, the purchase manager and respective suppliers of material and special contractors are involved. The front stage started on 17 February. 
where the first meeting with the client is held. After that, the project proceeds to middle stage, which includes the demolition of existing facilities and phase one construction related to ceiling. The parties involved are the client, specialist contractors, and general contractor responsible for the demolition and organization of construction. To avoid disturbance to student and staff, the middle stage will not be started until 18th of May, which is the week after the assessment period. Upon the completion of suspended ceiling, the project will go to the final stage, which includes the phase two construction related to floor testing and handover. The construction will hopefully be completed before next semester in order to provide new service to staff and students in new academic year. With sufficient consideration to utilize time and feasibility, the whole project is expected to be finished on 1st of September. There are four parts in our animation, including a plan, a front view, back view, and a side view. The red parts are the existing facilities to be demolished. After removing all existing facilities, installation of operable partition track can be started, followed by the suspended ceiling, and the building services installed on suspended ceiling, such as fire sprinklers and lighting. Here is the construction phase one. Then, we come to construction phase 2, which is related to the construction of raised floor, followed by the test for the performance of newly constructed components. Finally, upon completion, the site will be handed over to the department for the rest of installations. The animation shows the eye room served as a lecture room. Now, let us discuss the benefits brought from the use of BDC, BIM, and POP modeling in this project. During the planning and design, this model helped enforcing difficulties during construction. For example, task arrangement can be automated in order to obtain the shortest construction time. Modification can be done easily to maximize the efficiency of work. Macroscopically, construction sequence and time is obtained. Microscopically, it can identify the critical events and give flexibility to non-critical events. Pre-construction planning and modeling facilitate a better allocation of resources. It prevents wastage of labor resource and prevents cash flow problem. They also lead us to risk reduction and prevention by detailed breakdown of works, facilitate comprehensive consideration of risk for each small step. Finally, in the coordination of work, models improve mutual understanding among stakeholders of the project and avoid dispute. We have mentioned about the risk prevention and reduction. There are some risks that we have to take into account during task planning. The first one is time constraint. It is essential to complete the construction before the semester start, so it will not create a problem for a classroom allocation. Another concern goes to noise control. A desirable working environment should be maintained for professors and researchers to work during the summer holiday. Structural concern about the additional loading due to new facilities arises from the old age of nose building. Estimation and animation in loading distribution should be conducted by a professional engineering consultant. Expansion of electric supply is needed before demolition for electric components. Yes, it's lacking of focus or learning points before. But I think this theme is, is a bit misleading and it totally depends on how you find the thing that you can learn from this project. Actually, in this project, the POP model, which is certain, certainly is the main learning point, which actually brings us into a systematic thinking in the pre-construction or planning stage. Before this project, for example, the student project last semester, while considering what to be concerned or what to be done for the revitalization of the building, we didn't have an idea of how to systematically organize the job breakdown and the stakeholders involved. All components in POP model are the parts to, that vital to a project, but lacking of organized thinking always led, led us 
to a wrong path that ignores some of the important components. Of course, I think part of the reason that this project is blank is because the time, time, the tight time. I can't deny that this po project has an over tight progress in which we have to finish all planning, model building, and presentation within three weeks. This, of course, leads to an insufficient instruction from our from our facilitator, since we can only have two meetings with our facilitator. I believe if the whole project can be extended for a longer time, we can certainly gain much more knowledge from the whole project. And I think the time constraint is the most irritating factor when dealing with the models. We hold meetings twice a week, uh, or three times a week, usually Monday, Tuesday, and Friday afternoon, and I put the other weekdays time for dealing with my models and inquiries. Although we have worked so hard and met so many obstacles or difficulties, and the presentation didn't satisfy our facilitator, but I ha I'm actually satisfied with the outcome, which is the fruits of all our dear colleagues. I sincerely hope that we will have a better cooperation and a long-lasting relationship in the future. The project requires us to build a B model, create a 4D animation, and prepare a video report. It is a challenging task. Fortunately, I have great group members, and we cooperate very well so that we can accomplish this task. Building a B model, creating a 4D animation, and preparing a video report requires comprehensive use of different software. Fortunately, we have a group member, Put, who is an expert in using these softwares. His work has been pivotal to this project. Thank you, Put. I realize that presentation is a common task of most projects. However, I'm not good at designing the PowerPoint nor presenting my ideas to the others. In the future, I'll work on how to present my ideas to the others in a way that a normal person can understand it well. We spend three days per week talking about the homework. I spend four days alone working on the physics models and two days working on the queries. In doing the homework, I understand more about the relationship between the function of the room, the products, the stakeholders, and the construction process. Since VDC is new to us, each member has a different definition of function, form, and behavior in doing the model. It is confusing. Finally, we decide on the same definition, in which function means the requirement, form is the product chosen, and behavior is how the product satisfies the requirement. So I hope you will enjoy this video report Thank you. In this project, we have worked on KB526, that is the biggest lecture room in our departments. We are aims to modify this room for a BIM lab I room purpose. In this project, our team has managed to modify it into a BIM lab, implementing a lot of different new devices and facilities to provide a very different experience to the users. In this project's process, we have a uh, Browse through a lot of details, technical things. Uh, we have learned a lot during the process. However, uh, the process we have gone too much details and it was sometimes not easily uh, accessible or easily understandable by layman. Therefore, and after this project, I think we, our team and I should consider again whether the depth of details we should go through and also how much details we should provide during the presentations and the methods of presentations it also matters uh, the influence of the audience and talking about this project we have spent a lot of time discussing with our teammates we spent every day after the lectures to discuss on this project and we have spent a lot of time working alone about the 3D models alone I have worked more than a hundred hours and other things uh, such as the videos, presentations, will account for a lot of time working on it. Therefore, we almost work through uh, this project for three weeks durations. And about this project, I found it very interesting because we have need to consider a lot of things, a lot of new functions, new ideas, and especially adopting the VDC and POP models we have a kind of a new ways to think of the new features, how to brainstorm new features. However, 
it is sometimes confusing that the POP model is very new stuff to us. We cannot give a clear definition on it and sometimes we have gone into a wrong way. Therefore, we need to practice more on the VDC and the POP modelings. the importance of virtual design and construction as all we plan or design of iron will be draft, simulated, scheduled and estimate through a series of software applications. Also we know to bring them into details and be realistic. Lots of research and comparison among various products have been conducted and discussed during the studio meetings. Thanks to the positive discussion, atmosphere and participation among the studio group, we can come up with some new thoughts and apply them into our design. However, with computer drafting skill or lack of knowledge to iron products make me feel defeated. Every Tuesday and Friday, we will arrange meetings to discuss the design of iron and update the working progress. A good workload at distribution and time scheduling help manage the quality and quantity of work. In addition, the research of products and model design and build up the POP model were conducted after or before meetings. We will share the information and modify the building model during meetings. It should be around four to five days working on the studio project, both in modeling and curious every week. One thing that I learned is to be meticulous. When I was considering if the chosen product was suitable, scheduling the construction progress or designing the presentation storyline, it must be careful and be considerable on different tasks and dealing with different stakeholders. But it might be confused on the literal meaning of the curious and the accurate application of POP models when starting this project owing to insufficient information received. Studio project, we are required to design the room and find product with the use of POP model. At first, I didn't know what is POP and I have tried hard to find information about this model. However, I am surprised that there are not much information on the internet about the POP model. I have to understand the model solely based on the paper written by John Tense. After I understand the whole model, I realized that the model is surprisingly quite useful in helping me in brainstorming as it considers the whole construction process. The model is divided into product, organization, and process, and we need to consider the feasibility and the cost of all aspects. However, some simple products like the humidifier is a bit difficult to utilize the model on it because we only need to concern about the product side of the model about this item. In the future, I will continue to use this thinking system in designing and choosing different products as it can help me think systematically and logically. Our studio group will have meetings twice every week. In the meetings, we will discuss on some general issues and combine the individual words. After that, we will split the words and we will work on our own parts. Also, there are queries about the model every meetings. In the project, I have averagely spent three days per week in constructing and amending the model. In the modeling process, I find that there are lots of technical details in choosing the product and they are quite difficult to understand. Furthermore, I have to convert the technical details into words that ordinary people understand in the presentation and video report. I think this work is quite challenging and I learned much from it. I'm responsible for establishing the POP FFB model and explain the definition of virtual design and construction technology. At the beginning, I was assigned to do the task. I have no knowledge about that. It's not easy to get a glimpse of brief information by simple desktop searching. <clears throat> However, when I explained my difficulty to my group mate, they gave their best support and suggested me to take a further investigation by reading scholars' articles and pieces. I am grateful that this group provides me a harmonious working environment. During presentation, I was responsible for the part related to virtual design and construction technology. It is very hard to describe something professional in simple and easy wordings. After receiving the comments of our group's presentation, we have placed extra effort on editing our work and keep it simple, especially using more examples to relate it back to daily life. Simple is the best, but it is always hard to keep things simple with details. I think our group did a very good job and it is a very useful exercise for our future career. Since most of the people we have to face in the future may have zero background for construction knowledge. 
studio project, we need to work together to design an iRoom in the fifth floor of Lowe's building. We have charged our new design and management approach, which is known as the POP framework for, for organizing our ideas and products. It may be quite difficult for us to understand and use the POP model as it is a new approach for us in the construction project management, but we all have, but we all have done a good job in adopting this framework in our project. Um, it, it, is, um, it can really enhance the quality of our iRoom and help us to present the design in a much detailed way. Um, indeed, iRoom or the Beam Lab is a quite a new design for um, which is developed rapidly nowadays. It will be good for us to, for us to know more about the new technology involved in the iRoom. Um, not, not only how those technologies help us to in the construction industry, but also providing our providing a chance for us to involve in the design of the high tech environment that may have a little bit difficult and different with the traditional construction. Besides, um, the POP modeling allows us to break down the whole construction world into different components and further decompose them. Um, it is actually in introducing another way for us to know how to organize the details in the construction project. Um, it helps us to um, identify and link different products, organizations, and process in a systematic way. Having a child for this may be a good experience for us to think about the pro project management. However, it may be, there may be some difficulties appeared. After breaking the components into details, um, there may be too much information, which it will be difficult for others to understand what we are doing. Therefore, then, there should be a need for us to present our products in a simple way. However, we put too much focus on the depth and the details of our design, we may, which, which may lead to a uh, miss in our project. Additionally, a POP model helps us to break down and link the components in the construction. But I think that there's, there is also a limit in the model. Indeed, the, link, the linkage between the product organization and process still need to be highlighted in another way in order to show clearly in the POP model itself. Um, actually, this project provides us a way of manage, managing the construction project. Although we may, not, we may not be understanding it very deep, but we will try to apply this idea of thinking in the latest project. Um, talking about the comments, indeed, we have, we have meeting on every Tuesday and Friday um, with also other small discussion when we call. It is because there should be a need for us to understand the progress and also a review on our project direction. Um, after, after distributing the work, we will work on our parts. Um, it will be rather difficult to count the amount of time we spend on our work, but maybe two to four days per week um, during the working. I have learned the way of organizing the information into a systematic way but with the aid of POP model. But it may be rather confused that the POP model is not really a good way in presenting for presentation, in my opinion. Which we may think of some other way to simplify the model and present it in a clear way.